All right, guys. Well, I think I decided on where I'm going to put the wastegate flange here. I'm going to put it right here. This basically is going to point directly at the uh, passenger side wheel well. Um, I'll have to cut out the wheel well plastic a little bit. I'll show you what I'm talking about. There's basically nowhere to put the wastegate that makes it not hit every single thing that's on here. So it's going to come off the log here and basically be sitting right against this plastic down here, which shouldn't be too much of an issue because the tire doesn't actually touch there. So if you have to cut a little spot here or whatever, it's, just, it's actually just behind this AC hose, um, that should be fine. So what I did was I cut the old flange, which I already had welded to a little piece of pipe because it was on this contraption that I had on my Mustang. So I just cut that off right there. I decided to cut it pretty short. So I'm going to use that and basically plop it right on there, kind of like that. So uh, I'll get it welded on here and I'll show you uh, what it looks like. Alrighty, well, we got the turbo mounted on for permanent here. Got the gaskets all in behind the log manifold and got the crossover hooked up. And I got the hole drilled in the oil pan. We did it with the oil pan on. I'll show you that when I get down there. You can see the line kind of running between the frame and the uh, log manifold there. Basically, it just comes up and around underneath and goes in. It's a bit funky, but these are kind of hard to fit oil drains in between them. You kind of need the long extension piece that you can buy. But So that's why it's also sitting on a bit of an angle. But as long as it's pointed down, it's not going to be a big deal. So I kind of got it offset a little bit, if you can see, to the side. And then uh, the oil drain comes down and goes down between there. You can see the braided line. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like underneath. Oh, hitting a, hitting a rock. So that's what it looks like there. Um, we only had a 3 8 NPT tap, so we had to... Uh, adapt it from 3 8 MPT and then it goes I believe to a half inch and there's a little step up so hopefully that doesn't restrict the oil feed too much but or the oil drain sorry but if you can see on here it's very tight with all the four-wheel drive stuff like trying to get an oil feed line between the tranny lines the four-wheel drive uh, cross member here and starter and everything it's kind of crazy fitment or whatever but we got that done now instead of Steve to go get the parts for our uh, oil supply line um, see that up in here I think oh, what am I doing right there so we're gonna come off that we took the uh, oil cooler lines out you don't need that shit so got rid of that and then we basically just put a line up and we just measured how long we need we're gonna get the ends crimped on and that's basically gonna come up we're gonna route it underneath the intake it's kind of a little nicer and then it's gonna come up right on top of the turbo there or whatever so, yeah, I'll uh, show you guys what I got going on here when I, uh, or when Steve gets back, I guess. And uh, we're gonna try to start this tonight. He's going to get spark plugs, and then we're gonna tune the computer, do the three bar uh, operating system up on the computer with HP tuners. And then, uh, yeah, we should be able to fire it up with some spark plugs in it, make sure the fuel system works 100%. And then uh, we should be able to put the box back on because we'll know if the, all this stuff is going to work, which it should. And then, yeah, uh, I'll probably get back at you guys when we're putting probably the coolant tank back on here. We're going to have to put that expansion tank on here and then we can kind of get all these uh, lines figured out for the coolant system so we can actually start the thing. But uh, yeah, we'll get back to you in a second. All right, guys. Well, I was... Uh, board so I started uh, doing some electrical here um, I got the ZR1 map sensor it's uh, hooked up here to the old uh, uh, this is the old PCV um, system where you used to go to the valve cover and then come up here or whatever so I got that ZR1 map sensor you have to repin to the wires you have to switch them around for uh, this to work with the stock computer and then I got our uh, turned our mass airflow sensor or connector into an intake air temperature you basically just take the black and the tan wire and hook it up to this two wire sensor doesn't matter which way it goes two wire sensor um, so that was how it's your intake air temp and then I basically took care of all of the 
wires come out here because I got them all separated because we went under the intake, so these ones have to come on top. So that's just basically your injector harness on this side, uh, the coil pack harness, and this one's the map sensor harness, and then this is uh, all the stuff that basically goes underneath the intake, and that'll be like all the transmission stuff, and uh, that all goes underneath there. And then uh, what else did I do here? That's about it right now. Um, I know I'm gonna have to relocate this computer here, but I think once we get the plug for that uh, regulator um, and this coolant line stuff all hooked up here, um, we're gonna try running it. So that'd be cool to hear it run. Um, yeah, I'll be back in a bit. All right, guys. Well, I think that's gonna be it for this one here. Um, we didn't quite get it started, but uh, I think that's gonna be in the next video. We had a couple of issues with running the oil line and stuff like that. I think we have to take the intake back off to get it underneath because we run it actually underneath the intake. So. Uh, yeah, so I had a little short video here, but uh, I'm going to keep trying to pound out the videos here. So, I mean, if you guys could, like, subscribe, comment, whatever, say something, I don't know. It'd be pretty awesome. Um, it takes a lot of screwing around to make these videos, and, uh, yeah, I'd appreciate it. But, uh, yeah, you guys know the deal. Quit talking about it. Start being about it. Get in the garage to build some shit. Let's go race in 2021. Thanks.